and we have Peculiar Pet for October. And Misha was hoping she'd have a box to get into, but... Uh, you don't think she's gonna, I don't one. think she's gonna put in there. So they do four cards again, I guess, so they can have separate things. Okay, so the first thing I see is Mad Cat Crazy for Catnip. Yowling Yeti. I think we've had something similar before. You mean yelling Yeti? Yeti? Yelling Yeti? She said, yeah, I'll run around with it. Seems like it'd be more of a December. Yeah, the Yeti would be a Christmas, huh? <laughs> I wonder what day it is. National then Yeti again, day. it is a monster. It's, it's a monster October. For October yeah. So, you want this? You want the Yeti? Who wants the Yeti? You want the Yeti? There you go. She's like looking right like it's bad smelling. Okay, let me find it. Um, it's not Frankenstein. Day of the Dead. I love yarn. It turned out it's probably Skeptics Day. Day because it's a abominable snowman. Okay. Yeti, I mean. October 13th, International Skeptics Day. Is today International Skeptics Day or isn't it? Well, it may or may not be because this date sort of jumps all around the calendar. It falls on either January 13th, October 13th, or the first Friday the 13th of the year. So the first thing we can be skepti skepti skeptical about is whether or not Skeptics Day is the day we are celebrating it on. If you doubt it, anything might be real or not, no matter what the thing is, you're a skeptic. Now, some people are skeptical of skeptics. No doubt, this is a day we need to be skeptical of, or do we? How to celebrate, doubt everything, make someone prove what they say, make a list of things you're skeptic, it's hard to say, skeptical of. Okay, <laughs> next. <laughs> She's like, can I have something else? I didn't want that. Ooh, it's like one of those crinkly. Eyeballs. <laughs> oh, crinkly eyeballs. Cool. You like crinkly, right? So which one would that be? Um, it's not the yarn one. This is yarn. It's not yarn. Um, it, Day of the Dead with ice. What is? The other one. Is <laughs> um, there's no, is there a Frank? There's no Frankenstein. There's there's no Frankenstein. So maybe this is okay. I guess that's Frankenstein Friday. This is weird. The other one, the other one's like a spiral. Okay, so maybe they just didn't have the right items. I don't know. Okay, so we got some eyeballs. So it's Frankenstein Day, I guess. Body parts? Maybe that's what it is. It's body parts. <laughs> I don't think you can get in there. Misha already tried. Huge. So, October 28th, okay, Frankenstein oh. Friday. With Halloween coming, this seems like a logical day to celebrate. It was created by Ron McCloskey to celebrate Mary Wollstone Trap Shelley, who wrote Frankenstein in 1818 when she was 21. He, was he has terrorized the world ever since. There have been rumors that Frankenstein might have been based on some real activities taking place during Shelley's lifetime. Either that, or wow, what imagination, particularly for that era. Mary had an interesting life and continued to Don't write. Don't throw a hairball. Most of her other, oh, though gosh, most dude. of her other efforts are not as well recognized. Frankenstein has changed over the years. Now it's more about the monster than about creating him as it was in the original novel. How to celebrate? Read the original Frankenstein. Try to find Mary Shelley's other works. Get ready for Halloween! <laughs> okay. Man, imagine writing a bunch of books and only having one recognized. So, if that was <laughs> a yarn toy, then this one has to be Day of the Dead, but what? This is thrills and cl thrills and Shields play sack, so uh What are I don't you know. doing, Yoshi? This box is not like on target this time. What are you doing, Yoshi Cat? It should tell you the toy at the top. Didn't it used to tell you the toy or what or what it was? Yeah. So this is like kinda of hard to figure out. It doesn't tell you on the other side either. Maybe it's up to interpretation. Yeah, maybe. Ooh, this is a really crinkly sack. You guys are gonna love this. Mish, you like crinkly stuff. Yep. <laughs> She's returning. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, it does have it stands in it. It has skeletons in it, so I guess oh. they <laughs> just couldn't see that at first. Here you go. You wanna get in there? Get in there. I don't think a adult cat most adult cats will not fit in there. It'd be fun for them to play with though. Okay. Oh, there she, she's like, I can, nope. <laughs> November, October 31st to November 2nd, Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead. This holiday celebrated in Mexico is better known as the Day of the Dead Day. It's a time to remember people, friends, family who've passed and to recognize family and friends who are still alive. It was created in the 19th century by Jose Volupi Posada and promoted by the network of Diego Rivera. It's similar to Halloween but a completely different holiday. How to celebrate, have a feast with those family members that can gather. Throw a day of the dead party. Remember, family members are no longer among us. Okay. The cats have all left us. He left. Nisha was disappointed that it wasn't a plastic piece that she could chew on. Yeah. She heard the crinkle but she could not find the plastic. She wanted plastic, yep. Okay. So one more toy left. So we got a yarn ball thing. You she really have a cardboard. One. So these are one. This one of the pull apart toys where they can rip it apart. <laughs> but obviously they can't put it back together. Yeah, there. Yep. That'd be amazing. The cats can do that. <laughs> so it's another catnip toy. Hey Yoshi, you really have a cardboard from a box? The <laughs> toy. Mm -hmm. The little guy would probably fit in there. He'd probably freak out over the crispiness. <laughs> Poor Tayson. <laughs> All right, so you can pull it apart, and it turns into a ball of yarn. A ball of spaghetti. Um, a mouse, which is still attached by a plastic thing. And then there's a little thing to hold it together, and it smells very strongly. Of Ooh, you want the show? Show, come here. Come get the toy. No, oh. no. <laughs> um, I didn't say lick your shell. <laughs> so we're gonna hold it. Oh gosh. If I could get the other piece of plastic out, that'd be nice. Okay, I got the other piece of plastic out. And it went somewhere. Okay. Kitties! You want your toy? No, I'm not gonna film you, dude. <laughs> oh god. So all That's the rude. cats are gone except for uh, Mr. Nasty. Yeah, so um So this is a toy. This is a toy. Oh, you told me see you want it? Look. Smell that goodness. Oh, so this is October 8th. I love yarn day. It's the second Saturday in October and time to celebrate yarn. It deserves a day because, well, what can't we do with yarn? We can craft with it, tie packages, ponytails, complete sweaters, booties, and hats. It is very versatile and can come in an array of colors. If you don't see the color you want, you can always dye it to be any other color in the rainbow. Wikipedia's definition of yarn reads like it was taken straight from a patent. Yarn is a long, continuous length of interlocked fibers suitable for use in the production of textiles, sewing, crocheting, knitting, weaving, embroidery, or rope making. How to celebrate. Learn how to knit or crochet. Make a picture by gluing pieces of yarn on poster board, also called yarn bombing. Practice tying bows to be prepared for your holiday packages. <laughs> okay, so that was October Peculiar Pet for Cats. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more of our unboxings. More of our cute, adorable cats are no longer licking themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye! Bye.